This video is sponsored by Truco Republic, the precious metals experts. Talk to one of their experts today about diversifying your portfolio to help ensure your future financial security. Find their contact information in the description below and pinned in our first comment. James Kaufman will news report today, June 23rd, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Former White House physician Ronnie Jackson is demanding that Biden submit to a drug test before and after the debate. At Maria Bartiroma is stirring it up again. Sunday morning futures at Sunday futures. Today at Sunday Futures with at Maria Bartiroma, former White House physician Ronnie Jackson, Texas, spoke about the health and fitness of President Joe Biden. Dr. Jackson expressed serious concerns about Biden's cognitive abilities, both mentally and physically. Former White House physician and current Republican Congressman Ronnie Jackson was on Sunday Morning Futures with Maria Bartiroma on Sunday to discuss Joe Biden's mental and physical health. Let's listen to what he has to say, shall we? So you're going to you're gonna send another letter. You've sent several letters already to the White House. You're ready to send another letter to the White House tomorrow. Tell us what you're doing. Yeah, well, Maria, I don't need to tell you, you don't need to tell your viewers or anybody else in this country right now that we have a serious problem here. Everyone knows it now. You don't have to be a physician. You certainly don't have to be a physician to the president to see what's going on right now. So I have sent five letters previously asking for President Biden to submit to a cognitive test, very similar to the one that President Trump got while he was president. And all five of those letters have gone completely ignored. But of course, if you cannot tell that Biden's pumped up on drugs when he goes into debates or any type of form that's critical, it's on you. It has no business being the leader of the free world, and we all know this. So tomorrow I'm sending a letter to, uh, to President Biden, to his physician, Dr. O'Connor, and I'm ceasing his entire cabinet. And I, I, it's embarrassing that I have to do this, and, and it's really embarrassing as a, a former White House physician to have to do something like this, but we don't have any choice based on what's going on. But I'm going to be demanding on behalf of many millions of concerned Americans right now that he submit to a drug test before and after this debate, specifically looking for performance-enhancing drugs. Because we see, uh, we've seen recently uh, in the State of the Union address that there was a Joe Biden that came out that was uh, not – uh, similar at all to what we see on a day-to-day -day basis for the last three and a half years. And there's just really no way to explain that other than he was on something, that they didn't get any medications. I feel like this is probably what's going on over this week at Camp David. You know, he's going to be Camp David for a full week before the debate. Part of that is probably experimenting with, you know, just getting the doses just right because, you know, they have to treat his cognition. They have to give him something to help him think straighter. They have to give him something to wake him up, you know, to, uh, for his alertness. And then, you know, he's been agitated. Uh, we see that all the time, and that's a common, uh, that's a common symptom or something. Let's hope there's no sacrifices involved in this crap. The Democrats are putting on uh, uh, this cognitive disorder that, that, he, that, he, that he seems to be suffering from. And so they're probably going to give him something to take the edge off that as well. Uh, they didn't get it right just last time at the State of the Union. Uh, he came out, he was obviously much more alert, but he was a yelling, angry old man, and he still didn't make a lot of sense. He didn't make a lot of sense. But they want to get it just right. We're talking. Adderall, we're talking steroids, we're talking whatever the magic potion is. Let's hope it's not what we all think it is. Please share, subscribe, always remember, anything's possible in Bizarro World.